AC Milan under Fabio Capello have won the UEFA Champions League. The video you just saw was from when AC Milan beat Barcelona with an incredible four goals against none win in the 1994 Champions League final. And it was not just any Barca team they beat. It was a team full of legends like Pep Guardiola, Romario, Stoichkov, Ronald Koeman and many more. And AC Milan is a club with an incredible history. Uh, formed all the way back in 1899. It's almost 120 years old. And during those years the club have reached enormous amounts of success with 18 league titles and 7 Champions League titles among the more important titles. Uh, and the club has had some history of famous players winning titles and some of the big names that have spent their time on San Siro includes the likes of Baresi, Van Basten, Maldini, Tassotti, Hullit, Reikard, Costa Curta, Shevchenko, Kaká, Pirillo, Seedorf, uh, Nesta, Gattuso, Via, Albertini, and the list goes on and on and on. That was just a few. I could have made this list uh, twice as long. And, and I only picked players from like the last 30 years. There have been so many more if I've gone even further back, back in time. Um, but something has changed the club. And it's been 11 seasons since the last Champions League win. And it's been 7 seasons since the last league title. Uh, if you take a look at this, you can see that this is where the club won their last league title. And it's just been declining, like th first place, second place, third place, and all the way down to eighth, tenth, seventh, and so on. They have really fallen from grace. And while AC Milan has been falling, 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 another club, Juve, has completely taken over the league and are dominating it with like an in incredible fashion. Look at this, every season, Juve won, Juve won, Juve won, Juve won, Juve won, Juve won. Something needs to change. It's time to bring AC Milan back to its former glory. Defrone Juve and that's where this story starts. Following in the footsteps of uh, legendary AC Milan managers like Sacchi, uh, Capello, Ancelotti and many more, I have now taken the AC Milan hot seat. Let's begin this journey. And first off I would like to say welcome to the first episode of my Football Manager 2018 Let's Play AC Milan series. And the goal of this series is, of course, to bring AC Milan back to its former glory, both uh, in Italy and the world. And I'm aiming to release a new episode each day at 9 o'clock in the morning, Central European time. So make sure you press that subscribe button so you don't miss any episodes. Let's begin. This is the team we have to work with. And don't mind the current formation showing here. Uh, I definitely haven't decided what formation we're going to use. So I've just been clicking through these to check out uh, basically what uh, the assistant manager thinks are our strengths and weaknesses, depending on what formation we use. But as you can see, we definitely have quite a few weaknesses. Our only strong point, I would say, is our central defenders. We're pretty good in that department. And of course, Donnarumma is, is a good goalkeeper, but almost in every other department, like no matter what formation we're gonna use, we are going to need to try to strengthen our squad. Because, uh, yeah, first off, I mean, look at our strikers. What's up with that? Uh, but even for, like for formation positions where we have like decent players, we're still going to need to be able to rotate players, we're going to need to be able to manage with injuries and so on. And talking about Improving our squad. Improving our squad, of course, means that we need to spend money. And if you take a look at our finances here, you can see they are very limited. We don't have a huge transfer budget and we're almost at the cap here of the wage budget. 
which means more or less that if you're going to sign players, they're going to be forced to sell uh, players to get money for the signings, but also to make room in the, in the wage budget. But considering our current situation with limited amount of transfer funds, but also considering the club's history during the quite, uh, quite a few seasons here, most likely we can't sign big players. We can't sign world-class stars or anything like that. We can't afford them, and most likely they won't have any interest in joining us. Because when I mean, the world-class player won't be exciting to have a team that's been like finishing in the, in the in the middle of the table during the last few seasons, and a world-class player would like to get a lot of wage. It's going to cost a lot. So I'm thinking that we probably during the first few seasons here need to focus on youngsters, because we can sign youngsters cheap. And if we manage to tutor and develop them, they can evolve and become world stars or at least really good players. Because that's kind of the only option we have. We, we can't sign world-class stars, so we need to create them ourselves. And um, that's going to take a few seasons, but hopefully we can do really well and start improving it, uh, with every season. So what I'm going to do now is... Um, First off, I'm going to take a look at the dynamics, and the dynamics, of course, is a new function in, in FM18 let, uh, that lets us see like uh, who influences who and so on. As we can see here, we actually have a very huge social group, and that could be good and bad, but the big problem with this is if you're going to start selling players, they might be angry, and if they're all friends, all of a sudden we can have like almost our whole squad being angry on each other's. So that could be a tough challenge, but uh, I mean, we wouldn't have taken the AC Milan, AC Milan job if we weren't uh, interested in, uh, in a challenge. So what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm going to uh, work my way through the pre-season here. You can see some friendlies, some qualifications and so on. And then, when we reach the start of the league, we will get back to that moment. Because I will play the preseason by myself, see if we can find some interesting youngsters, and then we're gonna start off with, with the first game of the season. Here we are with the preseason all done. And during the preseason, we have also played some qualifications for the Euro Cup. And uh, well, we are in the playoffs here. We managed to go through this one and um, we managed to win the first leg and we have the second leg still to go. But I'm pretty confident that we're going to win this one without too much trouble. I mean, we managed to win the away game. But today it's the official start of the season because today it's the first league game. So uh, we are starting the season versus Benevento and that's going to be the first game in this series. But what have I been up to during the uh, pre-season? As you remember, uh, we were in a kind of some weak financial situation. So with the transfers, I've done exactly what I told you before. I've been focusing on bringing in youngsters and, bring, and also bringing in some older guys to act as tutors for the youngsters. We managed to sell or get rid of some players. And uh, these were the big sellings. And both of these players, um, they're not bad, but uh, they were basically our fourth and fifth choice or something in, in their positions, which meant that, like, look at his stats. He is not bad. He's definitely not bad, but uh, he will play very little considering they were so far down the rank because uh, central defenders is a position we have quite a few players that can handle in a way, good way in, in AC Milan. So these guys have to leave, uh, but all the guys we brought in were youngsters, and this one is probably the one that looks the most promising. But other than him, I'm mostly focused on uh, Italian youngsters because I had some trouble basically scouting outside of Italy with new scouting setups and uh, what nations you're allowed to scout and and so on. So we have to see. They, none of them looks fantastic, but. I hope they can at least develop decently so we can make some money from them in the future. And also, I did a little bit of a gamble, because in Football Manager uh, 2017, the last version, this guy 
was sensational in my Liverpool save. So I decided to gamble because I couldn't scout him, like nothing happened. I managed to scout him like 10% or something like that. So I just gambled and bought him just because he was so very good for us uh, uh, in the last version of the game. I don't think he looks as good now as he did in uh, the last version of Football Manager when I signed him. But uh, I mean, I had to do it. I had to do a gamble because he was so good for me in the, in the past. But that means basically we have uh, the original uh, AC Milan team here. Not many changes. We have had some injuries. So uh, currently injured, you can see we have four guys injured here. We also have a sus suspension. But uh, other than that, we are ready to go. Not much we can do about those injuries. And when it comes to the formation, I've been experimenting a lot and I'm actually using a very dynamic formation because the struggle I currently have is I have a few really good players, but most of them only play in one position. For example, here with Soso, he is one of my best players, but he is not that great in the middle. He's not that great on the left side. Uh, the only place he is really great is here on the right side as inside forward. Which means basically this far into the preseason, whenever he is fit, I've been playing with him as an inside forward. But whenever I need to rest him, I've been playing like with some other dude, maybe here, maybe here, uh, and even going through some different types of formations. So we are kind of in a situation here in the first season where the formation we use is going to change depending on what players are match ready and fit to play today. So you will probably see. Uh, a few different uh, formations uh, during this save. Then hopefully for the second season and third, when we re like really need to, gets the chance to build our own team and have everything come together, then we will maybe find a more steady formation that we use more often. But uh, as long as we have a very wide variety of the players and it's very spread out, it's definitely going to, to differ a lot who plays and uh, who don't plays. And um, talk to the team, maybe, what would you say? This is the first game. Maybe we should say something. Actually, we are going to go out hard. And why got one guy cared? So let's talk a little bit to the individual team parts here. Maybe say something more that we believe in you. And kind of worked. Kind of-ish. I guess they are not uh, ready for too harsh of words yet. We'll, we'll have to be a little bit kind to, to the lads here when they try to... Uh, find their way in this game so game on kick off the first game of the season at least the first league game uh, and yeah it's going to be interesting to see the team in action here and actually let's go to because uh, i've been using the the uh, the data analysis view but i think come on game let me change it i think the director view for the highlights is going to be more suitable for this format and here is the first highlight. It's Donnarumma with a goal kick. Hopefully we can move a little bit further off the pitch because I definitely prefer it being close to their goal area compared to ours. Here's Kessler's. And we are steady but slowly moving in the right direction, getting closer and closer to their penalty area. And look at this pass for Fabio Borini and it's a goal! The first goal of the season, and Borini is a player that we have uh, on a loan deal. It's not me who have loaned him, uh, the loan deal was already done when I took over the club. But it's a deal where he's loaned. we have loaned him for the first season and he joins us for the second one. So it's a special deal and we actually have like two or three players in that situation that are currently loaned and then will join us for the next season. It's kind of like uh, Mbappé in, in uh, PSG. That he's loaned from Monaco for this season and then he joins them for real uh, for the next season and yeah looks like we are creating some chances here putting some pressure on them and if you take a look here at the match stats we are completely dominating things with eight shots compared to three so um, hopefully we can score something or here's also is he going for it oh my god that was a really good try really good but yeah we have one goal lead and we are about to hear the half time whistle maybe we can create something before that that's going to be a free kick, 
Does this guy... Oh, he already have a yellow card! It's going to be a red one! This is very, very good news for us. Because that means they are going to be forced to finish the rest of the game, play the whole second half with only 10 players on the pitch, and that's obviously very good news for us. And this is, of course, a smaller bug in the beta. Look at this replay angle, and not even the re replay angle, it's a normal highlight angle. So we definitely need to change this one from director because we're not going to see anything to go to behind the goal. Because yeah, this is the Football Manager beta, so you need to expect things like that to happen. So let's change it back to the director one. But yeah, it's the beta, things like that can happen sometimes. That's what beta's for, isn't it? But yeah, decent first half, but still, we we are only one goal goal up, and you can never be pleased with only one goal lead because it's a very fragile one, and it can change quickly. So the last thing needs to know. I expect more from them here in the second half. Time to take it, step it up, guys. It's start, time to start performing, and uh, hopefully we can take advantage of that small one goal lead. Actually, let's pause this and take a look at their formation. Let's see where is it. I'm blind. I'm definitely blind. Oh, it's here. Formation. So they are still playing very uh, defensively here. Even but you can't blame them. They have one man down, so they can't go like crazy all out attacking. Um, so yeah, nothing surprising with that. But yeah, I hope we can step it up here in the second half and score another one. Because that will make me feel a little bit more safe. And of course, we need to take advantage of being one more man on the pitch here. Is this a real highlight or is it just the intro highlight? Because uh, it's been going on for quite some time. The normal intro highlight is usually... Oh my god! Look at that masterpiece from Borini! What a masterpiece! That was a crazy good goal. Take a look at the replay here. That, that could be like one of the contenders for, for goal of the season already. What a beautiful finisher. What a beauty by Borini. And what a start he has in the, in the, the AC Milan star, uh, shirt. His first real league game and he scored two of them. What a beautiful start of his AC Milan career. His sauce over the corner. Goes real long. And look, oh my god. That was almost a hat-trick for Borini. He's on fire today. I can tell you, definitely, he's been decent during the preseason. But he's been nowhere near that level. No, so yeah, what a game by Borini. But we are having some tired legs here on the pitch, so time to look at some rotations. Maybe we're gonna go with young uh, Barrow. That was one of the, the youth signing I showed you earlier that, that I told was one of uh, the most promising ones of, of, the, of the guys we, we signed during the summer. And I think it's time to actually change up the tactics here. Because uh, Sosa is getting tired, he's having a great game, but we need to replace him and then we're going to bring him in to the pitch here. Because the guy we're going to bring in instead, he likes it much more here in the, in the middle. But a clock is ticking and ticking, maybe we should go for the last sub then. Trying to get a lot of rotations in here. Since uh, we are in a great situation, we are winning. Who do we want to replace? Maybe like that. And we actually picked up an injury, and of course it happened after we used our last sub, so... Oh my god! That was really bo bad goalkeeping, I think. I believe that was some really weak goalkeeping, but let's take a look here at the replay. Really felt like the goalie should be able to save that one. Yeah, that was definitely a goalkeeper mistake. But we have picked up an injury here. And that's the question. Can we bring him off the pitch? Can we do that? Because in uh, early version of Football Manager, whenever somebody got injured and you already used all your subs, you got the offer to, to remove them from the pitch. But I can't see that offer available to us now here in, in FM18. Uh, Maybe it's because the beta. We'll have to, to wait and see. Because I don't see any way I can bring him off the off the pitch. Is 
It's going to be another red card. I mean, this one is so late, it's not going to affect the game. But two red cards in the same game. It must be a real nightmare for them. And uh, that also means, of course, not only because for this game, but these two guys will miss the next one because they will be suspended. But that doesn't affect us, do it? And look at that! What a start to this series, scoring four goals in our first episode. We're off to a really, really beautiful start here. Like a really dream start of this series. Couldn't ask for more, could I? I mean, we are playing at home and we are playing against one of the weaker teams in the league. So it's one that we should be winning, but still very good for the team's self-esteem to, to get a start like this. And that's the full time whistle. So let's leave for the dressing room. And we're of course gonna tell the lads that that was very good. Well done guys, well done. And that was of course the game of today's episode. The transfer window is still open. So things may still change. There's actually some, yeah, let's see. There are like two weeks left of the transfer window or something like that. Or maybe at least one week. And uh, looking at the schedule. Next game in this series, I'm not sure what it's going to be. Maybe it's going to be Atlanta, maybe we're going to go a little bit further, go for Inter. I mean, we have both Inter and Juve coming up here, and this, those are huge games. So, we'll have to see, but uh, definitely going to play one or two games before next episode. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of this AC Milan adventure. I sure did myself, and I'm really looking forward uh, for uh, continuing this save going further and further on, start to challenge Juve for the spot as the king of Italy. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, press that subscribe button. Next episode will be out tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.